Not all insects you see in your garden are necessarily a bad thing. In fact, so many insects are actually beneficial to gardening in Louisiana. I'm here with extension entomologist, Dr. Aaron Ashbrook to find out a little bit more about this. Yes, that's right, Jason. And so, like you were saying, there are a variety of pollinators and beneficial insects that we'll have visiting our gardens. This includes bees and wasps, butterflies, but also beetles and flies. And it's important to recognize that just because there is a plant or an insect on your plant doesn't necessarily mean it is a pest or causing damage. So what are some steps we can take to actually support a broad array and variety of insects in our garden? That's a great question. And what I'd first say is it is important to be able to identify the different insects that are in our garden and recognize that they are beneficials. For example, there are a variety of swallowtail species that as caterpillars, they prefer to feed on herbs such as dill, parsley, and if we don't tolerate that damage and allow them to survive, we won't have them as butterflies in our garden later on. It's actually a really good point. So it's almost like we need to share some of our plants and, and be able to accept some leaf damage knowing that we're actually helping the environment and increasing that diversity of insects. That's exactly right. So nectar sources are important, and I know that some insects we think negatively about, like wasps and flies, actually are important to the pollination process. That's correct, and so it's important that we have nectar-producing flowers available year-round because they might not have flowers available to produce that nectar uh, all times of the year. It's also important to not apply broad-spectrum insecticides when our pollinators are active. All right, Aaron, well, thank you so much. Those are great tips for, you know, bringing a wide variety of pollinators and insects that are beneficial to our garden. Forget it growing. I'm Jason Stagg with the LSU Ag Center.